men want their ears tickled they don't want to hear about holiness they don't want to hear about godliness if you preach against sin men won't like you they're gonna bring accusations against you and want you to shut up they're gonna try to decapitate the prophetic voice that is preaching against sin if you are preaching against sin professing lukewarm Christians who will have the spirit of Herod and Herodias they will come and they will want to decapitate the prophetic voice who is preaching against sin just like when John the Baptist came out of the wilderness preaching the wrath of God he said who warned you to flee from the wrath of God he said produce fruit in keeping with repentance the axe is at the root of the tree and every tree that does not bear fruit is going to get cut down and cast into the fire. He preached against King Harold's sin of adultery. And King Harold put him in prison and decapitated him. They cut John the Baptist's head off because he was preaching against sin. And my friends, if you're going to preach against sin, you're going to have professing lukewarm Christians who will come in the spirit of Herod and Herodias and they will look to decapitate your voice. They will look to decapitate the prophetic voice that is preaching against sin, that is warning of the judgment of God. They will come with accusations. They will say you unloving. They will want you to preach good things, smooth things. They will twist scripture and they will bring much opposition against you in hopes to silence your voice. They want to decapitate the prophetic voice that is preaching against sin. Just like they cut off John the Baptist's head, they didn't want to hear what he had to say anymore. And this is what they will do if you stand for godliness if you stand for righteousness if you preach against sin and you tell people they got to come out the darkness if not they're going to go to hell if you tell them that they must repent and there's only one name given amongst men that we can't be saved and that's jesus and you got to live holy professing christians will come in the spirit of Herodias and Herod and they will want to silence you they will want to decapitate your voice they will come with accusations in hopes to silence you they don't want to hear any preaching about sin men want to live ungodly and unholy they want teachings that's going to condone, condone their sinful behavior and my friend, the Bible is a holy book. And we have to preach against sin. Jesus said, if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It's better for you to go through life maimed than for you to go to hell fire. Jesus said, cut it off. Yet how many preachers are going to tell you to come out the sin? How many preachers are going to preach on what Jesus preached about in that text not many preachers will my friends because they will lose the tithing money they will lose memberships in their churches men won't like them you won't be liked in love if you preach against sin you won't be liked in love if you preach holiness and you preach that men need to come out the darkness and live godly and live holy and live soberly before god you won't be liked if you preach against the deeds of the devil. Yet, my friend, we need to be faithful to the Lord. We need to be faithful to Jesus. We need to be faithful to preach the narrow way that leads to life. Because only few is going to find it. Only few is going to want to come to the Lord and live godly and live holy. 
the narrow way that leads to life is the way of holiness. It's the highway of holiness. And when you begin to preach holiness, when you begin to preach against sin, you will have an army of professing Christians that will come in the spirit of Herod and Herodias. And they will want to decapitate your voice. They will want you to shut up. They will bring accusations against you in hopes that they can silence you. Like they did to John the Baptist when he came preaching out of the wilderness warning of the wrath of God. He preached against Herod's sin. He preached against his sin of adultery. And they put John the Baptist in prison and they decapitated him. And that same spirit of Herod and Herodias is working through many of the professing Christians today, my friends. And when you preach holiness and you start naming sins by name, you will have professing Christians. They will come and they will want to decapitate your voice. They will want to silence you and they will come with accusations. They will want you to preach smooth things. They will say that you are unloving and they will accuse you in hopes that they can silence you. We are in the last days and the Bible preaches holiness. The Bible says without holiness, no one will see the Lord. Be blessed today. Be encouraged. Stand for the Lord. Be faithful to Jesus Christ. Preach Jesus Christ as the only way of salvation. For there's no other name given amongst men that we can be saved. Yet it's only through Jesus. We have to be valiant for God. We have to be valiant to preach holiness. We have to be valiant to preach against sin. And my friends, when you preach against sin, you won't be liked. That's why many preachers... All they want to do is preach about good things and smooth things. They won't be liked in love. Most preachers want praises from men. Most preachers want to be liked and loved by the world. We need to be liked and loved by God. We need to be liked and loved by heaven. And if we're going to be liked and loved by heaven, we're going to have to preach repentance. We're going to have to preach against the darkness. We're going to have to preach that there's only one name given amongst men that men can be saved, and that's Jesus. And you have to come the narrow way that leads to life. And that narrow way is holiness. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us to deny ungodliness and worldly lust, that we should live soberly, godly, and righteously. We should live holy in this present age. Be blessed today. Be encouraged. Fight the good fight of faith. Stand for Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name.